We're going to talk about power work for individuals who are in our red category. For those people in that category, we need to do a lot of posterior chain building, a lot of hip and upper back mobility, as well as core strengthening before we can do anything that's traditionally defined as a power type exercise. So the best bang for your buck exercises when it comes to power training is our plank to warrior lunge to downward dog combo. That combination, whether it's modified or on the floor, is gonna help open up your hips, open up your back, and start to strengthen your core enough to be able to handle these traditional power exercises. The other one that we wanna to add to this is gonna be your squat row, and that's a deloaded squat row, and it's a posterior chain movement that's gonna help train your system not only to handle the load, but also to memorize this pattern because it's gonna go hips with an upper body pull, which is most of our traditional power movements that you would see in a clean and a kettlebell swing in our power movements. So here it is. You're gonna lay back all the weights on your heels. If it helps, try to bring your toes up. You're gonna to sit to your heels. It's less than your body weight. Drive up, then row. All the way back without letting your shoulders come back. Chest is open, shoulders are back. We're gonna squat it out and then row. Squat, row. We can make the row heavier or the squat heavier by adjusting where we're standing as well as by adjusting the angle of the TRX. So you can see, even though you might be in the red category, you can still do a close to power movement safely and effectively, and it's gonna help lay a solid foundation to actually do some real power movements or some traditional power movements in the near future.